Uh, do that. Whoa, Count Dooku. Uh, okay. So Count Dooku just murdered all of them. Okay. Let's try that again without Count Dooku going in and murdering everything. Well, at least that should make for a funny moment on the VOD once it's uploaded. All right. There we go. Now it's back to normal. Hey, your droids. They'll have to wait outside. Wait a and got it. And the platinum trophy. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. We did it, guys. Platinum trophy. Hey guys, it is NCSFan001 here for the road to my 622nd Platinum Trophy. Today's game was LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I did this on a live stream on a Sunday afternoon, which is a little unusual for me to do streams, you know, during the day and outside of Fridays and Saturdays. But I just wanted to go ahead and finish up the game, and I didn't want to dedicate, like, a whole Friday night or Saturday night stream to it. So anyway, today's game, again, was LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga for the PS5. As with most LEGO games, this is not a particularly difficult platinum by any means. In fact, I would say that in terms of true difficulty of the trophies, it actually might be in the easier category of LEGO games. That being said, it is by far far the longest lego game in existence this one takes around 70 to 80 hours to platinum probably more like 80 ish hours so it is a very very long game the thing for me though is that i did enjoy it and it didn't feel like it took that long because i was streaming a lot of it and i was actually enjoying the game but if you're not a big star wars fan i could see that grind starting to get a little bit annoying and it is a long grind because there is a lot of stuff to do in this game so, you're going to have to complete the story, which consists of 45 levels, and that's going to earn you the first 10 trophies. Now, the levels themselves, many of them are really, really short, but a few of them are a little bit longer, but most of them are really short. However, there's a lot of stuff you have to do between the different levels. Like, you'll often be stuck doing, like, various side tasks between the levels that function almost like mini-levels, in a sense. I don't mind that. I think that was actually really fun. Just do keep in mind that even though the levels are short, there's a lot of stuff to do in between them. Then you have to complete all the events in the game on all of the different planets. This, All these trophies basically come from completing everything on every planet. So 100% every planet and you'll get all these trophies. Now that is much easier said than done because there is a lot of stuff to do. There are something like 18 different planets, I think. It's either like 18 or 19 planets that you have to clear out. And some of them can have huge numbers of collectibles, tons of side missions, tons of puzzles for Kyber Bricks. There's a lot of stuff to do throughout these different planets, and it does take a long time. The good thing is the game has like a hints menu where you can just, you know, purchase a hint for each and every collectible in the game and it'll pretty much allow you to find them on the map and mark them on the map and go to them so that makes it a lot easier so again it's one of the easier lego games it just takes a very very long time to get through you have to achieve true jedi on every level which is filling the stud meter once you have multipliers that's not going to be difficult you have to complete all the level challenges there are three on every level most of them are easy a few of them like a small handful of them can be a little bit trickier but nothing too bad 
all the mini kits in the game there are five per level generally these are fairly easy to find but you will need to go back and free play for a lot of the mini kits and level challenges just to be able to switch between characters more heavily you have to fully upgrade all of the character classes which requires a large number of kyber bricks you have to collect all the data cards they're 19 they are the replacement for the red bricks in this game so they're your cheats uh, there is no invincibility cheat, by the way. It's one of the only LEGO games I can think of that doesn't have an invincibility cheat. It has the multipliers, thankfully, but no invincibility, which is a little weird. Uh, you have to collect 1,000 Kyber Bricks. There are 1,200 total. There were originally 1,166, but a DLC, not really even a DLC, but just new stuff got added in, new ships got added in at one point, and that upped it to 1,200. So you're going to have to collect a thousand total, which is going to come along the way to finishing everything else. You have to collect all the characters. There's about 380 of them, so there's a lot, but you're going to get those by completing side quests and completing the story. You have to complete all of the events in the galaxy. This is one of the last trophies I earned. For this one, you pretty much have to complete everything on all of the planets. You don't actually have to do all of the space stuff for this one. So this is sort of like your 100% completion trophy, even though it doesn't count the other, the spaceships. So I'm not sure exactly how much you actually have to do on all of the ships that you can take over. But I would suggest just going ahead and doing them just to make sure that the game registers 100%. Complete all the races that's going to come while completing all the planets. The galaxy challenges. Most of these are fairly easy. They just take a long time to get through. This is the very last trophy I got. It actually took a couple of tries because Count Dooku screwed it up the first time and started trying to kill everything, which was actually kind of hilarious. But make them fight by using the panic command, not the dance command, which I also did incorrectly. Ride all the creatures. There's 10 of them. That's fairly simple. Uh, you can just follow a guide for it. 10 billion studs is very easy once you have the multipliers. I ended up with about 25 billion by the end of the game. Then you have to destroy 100 TIE Fighters. This one should come naturally while beating the game and exploring the space areas. Three enemies with a single explosion will probably come naturally. I got it very early on without a lot of difficulty whatsoever. Uh, you have to shoot off 50 helmets. That's very easy. Just aim for the head when you're fighting enemies. Uh, 25 disguises. This one is a little bit more annoying because it's not as necessary in many levels. But you can farm it out on any level that there are disguises are available. Just, you know, take the three disguise pieces as the right character and you'll get it. The combat multiplier of 30 is basically unmissable. You're going to get this while doing some of the lightsaber battles when you have to constantly mash a button. You have to complete the Jawa's Faulty Droid missions on Tatooine. It's a series of side quests that will be part of the 100%. Same with the Gaunt Droid Escorts, and complete any flight level without dying. This is actually very easy, even though there is no invincibility cheat in the game. So I actually already synced up the trophies while getting the Platinum on the stream. So, level 783, 81%, 23,469 total trophies, 622 Platinums, 3,910 Golds, 6,245 Silvers, 12,692 Bronzes. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please like, favorite, share, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell if you haven't already, and I will see you guys back here for the next one.